Hello, my YouTube friend, back with another mega epic haul, but this time it's comic books. That's right. I haven't done a comic book video in a while, but I'm still buying comic books left and right. So I figured it's time for the comic book fans, you guys who love comic books, to have your own mega haul. So in this video, I'm going to show you this bag of comics I bought at a garage sale for a buck a piece. This bag of comics I pulled out of a dollar bin. This little stack of comics I bought for a couple of people I've met through YouTube. This bag of comics I pulled out of a dollar bin. This bag of books and comics I bought off a dollar book cart from a local bookshop. This $37 eBay package. This $33 eBay package. This MyComicShop.com haul. And to make the haul extra epic, I'm going to show you this long box of comics I bought from a neighbor. This long box of comics I bought from a neighbor. And this long box of comics I bought from a neighbor. Let's go through this epic stack of comics. Now, all these comic books are comic books that... Well, okay, this comic book I picked up for a dollar... And I, I think the cool kid actually grabbed this. We grabbed it from a guy that was selling on the sidewalk. I uh, just kind of using that to cover everything. But okay, here's a comic book I really wanted. It's probably like a very fine, very fine minus. But I got it for a good deal. I bought it from a guy named Will. He sold me Funko Pops before and he happened to have one really nice comic book. He sold it to me for a hundred bucks. A really good price. It's probably worth about 60 to 80 percent more than that. So like 180, 160, 180. But it's a New Mutants number 98, first appearance of Deadpool. Very happy to have that. I didn't have that yet in my collection. It's one of the last few Copper Age keys that I needed to have them all. So that was super awesome. Okay, so the next comic book I bought was also from a guy who I met through YouTube. And he um, he started an Instagram called Doom Comics. And I've been watching every once in a while. He'll post a lot of really cool comic books. And he posted this one, and I think this one is kind of undervalued at the moment. It was $105, and he threw in a couple extra things, so I'm going to show the extra stuff. So he threw in a Thundercats number one. It's like a fine, maybe. It's got a couple of creases on the spine. A G.I. Joe Order Battle number one, and a Robocop number one. Which I think I have all those, so those I'll probably stick in my shop. But here's the comic book I'm excited to have. Now, I already had a copy of this comic, but this is a higher grade copy of it. So it's a Marvel superheroes featuring Captain Marvel number 12. So this is the very first appearance of Captain Marvel. Now issue 13, which I have as well, is the first appearance of Carol Danvers. So people are paying in this condition like three, four, five hundred dollars. Whereas the very first appearance of Captain Marvel, they're only paying a hundred dollars for now. I actually, I think 105 was a good price. I think this might go for as much as 150 now on eBay. But I suspect once the movie comes out, if the movie's good, this one will also skyrocket. Because it is the first appearance of this character. Carol Danvers didn't become Captain Marvel for another, uh, what is it, 40 years? 50 years even? I think it was only like five years ago she became Captain Marvel. So he was Captain Marvel. This is his first appearance. He was Captain Marvel for 50 years before Carol Danvers became Captain Marvel. So I think this issue is definitely undervalued. The copy I have already was like a 3.0-ish. So this is a 5.5. It is CBCS, so it's not CGC. But still, I'm happy to have it. Really awesome comic. Honestly, I'd probably grab a few more of those if the price was good. All right, let's go through this bag of comics. Now, these comics I bought from a guy that was selling on the sidewalk. So it was like a sidewalk sale. He said a dollar a comic, so we dug through them. The cool kid bought some, and I bought some. This is cool. We have Totally Awesome Hulk number 20. I accidentally dropped the bag and ripped the cover off though, which is sad, but I have another copy of it in my collection, so it's not the end of the world. But it was, you know, it has a little value and I'm sad that I damaged it. <laughs> so Totally Awesome Hulk number 21. Reborn number one. Totally Awesome Hulk number 19. Oh, here we go. Totally Awesome Hulk number 22. I didn't have this issue yet. So for a dollar key issue, so happy to have that. You know, not in the best grade, it has a little bit of wear, but for a dollar, I'm not going to complain. Paper Girls, number three. Dark Knight 3, book one. The Midtown Comics variant for a dollar. I thought that was pretty cool. Archie, number 19. Harley and Ivy meet Betty and Veronica, number one. And Oh, and then the cool kid grabbed a bunch of Daredevil comics. So these are all his. Daredevil 505. Daredevil 506. Daredevil 507. Daredevil 508. Uh, Secret Avengers number 13. 
These are all, again, he grabbed anything he thought looked cool. Which, for a dollar comic, I'll let him grab a stack anytime we see them. So this is Avengers First X-Men, the free one. Avengers Children Crusade, number nine. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, number one annual. Actually, I think I grabbed that one. International Iron Man, number one. Captain America and Thor, free comic book day. All new Avengers, free comic book day. Spider-Man, number three. And Shadowland number three. Oh, and Shadowland number two. So he grabbed all those comic books. He thought they were cool. I thought they were pretty cool too. I actually went back the next week and he still had the whole stack. So I asked him if he would sell me the whole stack and I bought maybe 100 comics from him for like 30 bucks. So I'll do that in another video. Let's go through this bag of comics. I bought these all for a dollar a piece. It's some books and some comic books. It was from a local bookstore that has a dollar car outside and they sometimes put graphic novels and comics on it. So I love looking there every once in a while to see if they have anything cool. Okay, so I bought a fashion illustrator book. I collect fashion books. So whenever I find them for cheap for like a buck, I'm gonna pick them up. A nylon street fashion book. Thought that was really cool. Uh, Birds of Prey volume one trade paperback for a buck. Why not? I mean, it's a dollar, dollar's a great price. Uh, another fashion book. This is on the black dress. It was a cool little book. A uh, local indie comic book. I love buying stuff like this just because it's unique and different. You know, it looked kind of interesting. The artwork isn't like blown me away as super awesome, but I like the way it's just a very do-it-yourself, printed-yourself kind of comic. I thought that was really cool for a dollar. And then we had a copy of Legion of Superheroes number one. Now, sadly, it has a tear right here and like a crease right here. But other than that, it's like really glossy, like it's newish. So it's if it didn't have those two things, it would have been pretty high grade. But even still for a dollar, I was going to pick that up. It just looks beautiful. And then there was a Justice League of America number 168 for a dollar. Anything Bronze Age, it's, if it's a dollar, I'm going to grab it because I know if I don't have it, a dollar is a great price. And if I have it, I'm sure I can sell it for like three, four or five dollars, you know, that kind of thing. So I grab those anytime I see them. Let's go through this bag of comics. These were a buck a piece. It's a book off dollar bin haul, basically. So all these comic books were a dollar a piece. So we have Mega Man number 19, Giant Days number five, Sonic Universe number 33, Faith number nine, Spirit Leaves number two. I didn't know anything about this, but I really like the cover. Uh, Josie and the Pussycats number six. Pretty cool Michael Arrowhead cover, I believe. Yeah, Michael Arrowhead. I love it. Uh, Nam Wolf number... Not sure the number, but I also thought that cover was cool. Miss Marvel number 21. Rom number one. It's like a cool thick edition. Miss Marvel number eight. Knuckles number two. Silk number three. Actually, I was with the cool kid. He grabbed a bunch of silk, so this actually might be his. Sonic Universe number nine. Lex Luthor and Porky Pig, number one. It's a Looney Tunes variant. Dark Knight's Metal, number four. Great price on that. Saga, number 47. Batman Lost from Dark Knight's, number one. All these for a dollar is a great price. Miss Marvel, number 14. Metal, number one. I love this Jim Lee cover. It's very awesome. Silk, number four. Again, this might be the cool kids. Monsters Unleashed, number one. It's a monster variant. Grizzly Shark versus Sea Bear. I didn't know anything about this comic book. But I thought it looked cool and it looks like it's signed. So I had to have that for a dollar. Number one from the series. Again, it looks like it's signed for a dollar. Had to have it. And Grizzly Shark Returns, number two. Thought that was cool. Uh, Miss Marvel, number 19. Bullseye, number one. It's a uh, Scotty Young variant. Green Lantern, number 50. Battle Angel Alita, number five. I This movie looks like it's going to be really cool, so I've been trying to get the comic books if I can find them for a buck. Miss Marvel, number 10. And then uh, Avengers X-Men Axis, number nine. I didn't know if this is a variant or not, but it looked like it was originally $10, so I don't know if it was like a one in 10. I have to look that one up. But I figured for a dollar, I'll do the gamble just in case. A-Force, number two. So that's everything from Book Off. Pretty awesome. Let's go through this bag of comics. This is another book off run. Not as many comic books, but for a buck a piece, I can't resist myself. Uh, A-Force number three. A-Force number four. Silk number two. Uh, Mega Man number 20. Miss Marvel number 15. Miss Marvel number 14. 
Back to the Future number eight. Giant Days number nine. Empowered number, I think that's just a special. And Pokemon number two. I thought that was pretty cool. I love getting some decent comics from the dollar bins. Let's open up this eBay order. I paid $37 for it. It's eight comics, so it's $4.62 a comic. It's a little bit of a mystery because the picture, actually, let me show you the picture. <laughs> So in the picture, as you can see, I couldn't really tell the condition. I couldn't really see. I mean, I could kind of see what comics they were. So this is a little bit of a gamble. If the conditions are high grade, then these comics will be worth a lot more than 37. And if they're like missing pages or beat up, then they're probably overpaid. But I don't mind a little gamble because sometimes it really pays off. And I'm really I'm dying to buy more Golden Age comic books. So if I can get some cool, more expensive ones cheap and random lots, I'm going to. OK. All right, Gene Autry Comics. I don't know the number on this. Uh, condition is not too bad. It's a little bit brittle. Let's see, number 84 from 1954. Uh, I would, you know, the condition is not bad at all. So I think that was a really good price on that. 462 is not too bad for that. But I'm not really looking for the cowboy stuff. This is what I'm looking for. I mainly bought the lot for the Patsy Walker, which depending on condition, this alone could be worth the full value. So uh, it looks a little brown. It's got a few creases on it. Let's look inside. Let's see. Number 74. The staples are attached. It's 1957. I'm trying to put together a full set of Patsy Walker comic books. So I'm going to slowly do it as I can find them in collections like this. All right. Uh, just a quick flip through. It doesn't feel like anything is cut out. So I think it's complete. So that's not too bad. I mean, that's a pretty decent grade for this era. So this alone might be $20, $30. So that's pretty good. We're doing really good. That's the main reason why I bought this lot. I figure everything else would be a bonus. Okay, we have Little Lulu. Let's see the number on this. This actually doesn't look too bad either. So this is uh, number 123 from 1958. It's got a little bit of tape right here. But other than that, it's actually in pretty good shape. That's a pretty awesome comic book. Anytime I can get a comic from the 50s or earlier and it's like a very good, I'm super happy because that's pretty high grade for a comic of that era. Okay, we got another Cowboy Comics. I wasn't really aiming for the Cowboy Comics, so those are kind of like the extra. So we have a Gene Autry Comics. This is number 22 from 1948. That's cool. And again, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's got some creasing, but no major... Well, a little bit of a tear right there. But it doesn't look like a big chunk or anything. So I'm actually really happy with that. Okay, let's see what we got. We got uh, Roy Rogers comics. Let's see what year this is from. It's uh, number 86 from 1955. Again, it doesn't look too bad. It's got a little bit of chip out of there. But again, it's probably like a good plus. Not too bad of a grade for this era. Because it looks very presentable. It's in the kind of condition that you can enjoy the comic. And you're not dying to upgrade it because it's complete and there's no major flaws in it distracting so that's pretty cool okay now i think the war comic books are where most of the value will be if they're in good shape so this is follow the war with hanstrom's map of the world i don't know if it's a comic book or like some kind of booklet this might not actually be a comic book but it still looks cool yeah oh yeah just like a map book but it still has a cool illustrated cover. I'm still happy to add it to my collection. I don't think it's worth as much as if it was a comic book, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's worth way more than the $4 I paid for it. Okay, now we have Gene Autry's Champion. Again, the condition is not that bad. This is number five, 1952. Conditions, again, pretty good shape. It looks like it's a very good, maybe. I don't see any major damage to it. It's got a little bit of stoiling there, some spine ticks, but not, you know, it's in pretty decent shape for the age. So I'm actually happy with that. Okay, here we go. Here's the other war comic book or uh, again, I think it's maybe a book and not a comic book. Yeah, it's more like a kid's book and it's kind of the cover is detached. So this is not in the greatest shape, but the illustrations look really cool. Although a kid drew all over it. <laughs> all right, so this one is a little bit of a, let down but i love the illustrations they're really nice 
So this is still pretty cool. I think I got a decent value, especially the Patsy Walker kind of was the winner there. So I'm actually happy with this lot. I would buy another lot like that again if I could. Let's open up this eBay order. I paid $33.69. I believe it's 30 comic books. So I paid $1.12 each. It's sort of a mystery box because I wasn't really looking up the values or anything, but it was a lot of Archie's and Millie the Model. So I was kind of looking to put together a Millie the Model set as well. These are, I believe, Bronze Age, possibly Silver Age. So like a, a lot like this, I'm happy to get because I know, you know, individually, if I have duplicates, I can easily sell a lot of these kind of comics for three to five dollars. So I could actually make a profit if I sold them all. But I'm looking to put the sets together, so I'm going to keep one of each. But I'm going to compare them to what I own already, just to see if I have any duplicates. Because I'm a collector first, and then I'm a retailer. You know, I don't sell comics to make profit. I sell comics just so people send me more. Okay, now, they were shipped without any protection in the box. So that's kind of what they look like in the box. So that's like, ugh. Hopefully everything is okay. <laughs> oh, there's some other cool stuff in here, too, I forgot about. Mm. All right, so that's that stack. Okay, so the grades look a little bit worse than I thought they would be. So that's a little bit of a letdown. But again, I only paid $1.12 each. So I know if I put a comic like this in my shop for two or three bucks, it'd probably still sell. So I'm okay with that. So we got Chili number 14, Little Monsters. I like the Little Monster comics. Anytime I can pick these up for a buck or two, I'll pick them up. Number 13, that's cool. All right, we have Little Monsters again. Number 19, Bronze Age. Bronze over like right on the edge, early 70s little monsters again. So these little monsters are cool. I know these, that's number 18. And the condition they're in, I'd probably get five to ten dollars each if I were to sell them, but I think I'm keeping these because I don't have them. Okay, we have Millie the model number 192. That's actually pretty cool. It's square bound, so it's a little bit beat up. Uh okay, we have a coverless comic book. Archie's TV laugh out number eight. That's cool. Everything's Archie number 16. Little Archie number 62. Life of Archie number 81. So we do have a little bit of Silver Age in here, which is good. I like getting Silver Age when I buy lots like this. Life of Archie number 126. Debbie number 15. This is a little bit of a harder to find comic, but the condition is it's got a bad rolled spine and it's like chewed up a little bit, but still happy to have that. Debbie number 14. Debbie number 16. Debbie Dates number 6. Uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch number two. Oh, that's cool. Sabrina the Teenage Witch number seven. Chili number 23. This one actually looks in pretty decent shape. Oop, it's got a little bit of a dog ear, but the overall look of it, it's not really too beat up, and it's the colors are crisp. The Wilkin Boy number 14. Pep number 270. It does have a little chunk out. Millie the Model number 191. That's actually not too bad. So that's kind of the stuff I was looking for. So I'm actually happy with that. Scooter number 34. Josie and the Pussycats number 56. Little Archie number 73. And it's a cool, scary Halloween issue. So that's actually really awesome. And the grade's not too bad. It's a little bit of a rolled spine and a little bit of a dog ear there. But I'm actually happy with that. Everything Archie number 9. Archie's TV Laugh Out number 13. Jughead number 191. Josie and the Pussycats number 53. That's a cool cover. Uh, Harvey number four. I haven't seen this one before, so I'm assuming this is a little bit harder to get. Some of these Marvel comics from this era that are romance or like an Archie clone kind of are a little bit harder to find. Uh, Betty and Veronica number 202. Okay, so that's not too bad. The conditions were a little bit worse than I thought they would be because the pictures looked like they were nicer. But at a buck a piece, buck 12 each, that's not too bad. I'm actually happy with that. The thing with Archie comics is whenever I put them in my shop, they sell real quick, even at three, four, five dollars for the older ones. I do want to put a set of all of them together. So anytime I buy a lot, I do have to check to see if I have it or not. At a buck a piece, I'll buy them because I know if I don't have it, happy added to my collection. And if I do have it, I can easily sell it in my shop. Let's open up this mycomicshop.com order. Now, I always say with my comic shop is I'll put stuff in my cart and kind of leave it there over the months until I get an order that I'm ready to place. Because I usually don't find a whole bunch of stuff I want to buy at once because I look for bargains. So I'm really not looking to pay full retail when I buy stuff. But occasionally there'll be something I really want. I'll put in my cart. And once I hit about $100, I'll place an order. Okay, so the majority of the stack was two or three bucks a piece. And uh, they have stickers on the bag. So a cover of the artwork. So we have 
Wonder Woman number 32, the Jenny Friesen artwork. I do want to get all the covers she's done because I absolutely love them. We have uh, Mira number one. This is an art drum cover. Beautiful cover. I love art drum. Another art drum cover. We have the Phoenix Resurrection number one. Another Jenny Friesen Wonder Woman number 43. I actually love that cover just with the golden highlights. Beautiful cover. Uh, Wonder Woman number 40, another Jenny Friesen. Uh, Batgirl number 16, I believe that's a Joshua Middleton cover. Love his artwork as well. Wonder Woman number 42, another Jenny Friesen. Aquaman number 5, another Joshua Middleton. Wonder Woman number 41, Jenny Friesen artwork. Aquaman number 4, another Joshua Middleton. Batgirl number 21, I believe that's a Joshua Middleton as well. Aquaman number 6, I also believe that's a Joshua Middleton. Wonder Woman number 28, Jenny Friesen artwork. Supergirl number 14, art germ cover. Aquaman number 8, I believe that's Joshua Middleton. Supergirl number 23, oh, I love this cover. It's art germ cover and it's metallic. Such a beautiful cover. I love it. Let me take it out of the bag so we can look at it better. I knew I had to have it when I saw it. Yeah, I love just all the shiny foil. Beautiful cover. I love it. Okay, Aquaman number 7, Joshua Middleton cover. Thor number 705, an art drum cover. Wonder Woman number 38, Jenny Friesen cover. A Batgirl number 15, Joshua Middleton cover. A Wonder Woman 33, Jenny Friesen cover. Wonder Woman number 44, Jenny Friesen cover. Aquaman number 9, Joshua Middleton cover. Supergirl number 16, another art drum cover. I love art germ Supergirl covers, they're wonderful. Uh, Wonder Woman number 45, Jenny Friesen cover. A Wonder Woman number 31, Jenny Friesen. So these are all beautiful. I'm so happy to have those. I had a ton of those in my cart, but that's not why I decided to finally place the order. I decided to finally place it because of this giant book I wanted to buy. All right, so while I was at New York Comic Con, I bumped into Comic Tom. If you guys aren't watching Comic Tom yet, I love his YouTube channel. You should check it out. Tell him that Pop Fun to Play sent you. But he uh, introduced me to his friend Jeff, the Elite Comic Source. And uh, he calls them the Golden Age Guru. So we're talking about Golden Age comic books. And he told me that I should get the Gerber Photo Journal books if I didn't have them yet. So that's what I grabbed. I grabbed volume one of the book. It's These things are amazing. It just pretty much everything in the Golden Age photographed. So if you want to just look at all the covers and kind of learn more and more and more about Golden Age comic books. Awesome book. I'm actually, I'll put a link to these on Amazon, an affiliate link. So if you guys want to buy a copy and help support the channel a little bit, I definitely recommend getting them. I also got volume two, which I bought on Amazon. So volume one and volume two. If you want to get into Golden Age comic books, these are kind of must-haves. And they're relatively inexpensive. I think they're like 40 bucks a piece, 30, 40 bucks. Something like that. Absolutely awesome books. I love them. I actually cannot wait to dig through this book. I'm probably spend a few hours just looking through it and looking at all the different covers. Uh, I love it. Okay, let's dig through this long box of comics. Now these, the three long boxes I bought, it was a collection I bought over the summer. I bought it from the guy who I got the Alien and Predator toys from. So if you saw that video where I had a whole bunch of like sci-fi toys, I also bought the comic books from him. Uh, I forget how much I paid. I think I paid four to five hundred dollars for the whole collection. It was a lot of really cool Copper Age stuff. So let's just start digging through it. We got Uncanny X-Men number 146. What's great is a lot of this Copper Age stuff I have already. So I'll be able to put a lot of it into my shop, which I know will make comic fans happy. And I know there will be a few things I can fill in my collection that I'm missing. So I really like this lot. I love this era because I grew up on it. So we have X-Men 146, X-Men 143. These are kind of the damaged ones that I didn't pay too much for. X-Men 150, X-Men 152, X-Men 174, X-Men 147, Defenders 152, Marvel Premier Doctor Who 58, Doctor Who number three, Crisis on Infinite Earths number three. Oh, these have the old sticky bag feel. <laughs> Okay, Crisis on Infinite Earth number four, number five, number six, another number six. So we have a newsstand and a direct market. Hulk 316. Okay, let's see what we got. A Marvel team up number 144, New Mutants number 38. X-Men and Micronauts number one. 
Amazing Adventures of the Original X-Men number 13. Number 14. Amazing Spider-Man 219. I love getting Amazing Spider-Man comic books and collections like this because obviously I love Amazing Spider-Man, but they also they sell so well. Amazing Spider-Man number 213. Ooh, nice. Some Frank Miller era Daredevil, one number 77. Number 177. Number 176. Number 179. These are all, these sell really well in my shop. And number 174. Love that era, Daredevil. Okay, I think these are some of the better issues I yanked out to give them a little bit more money for. So X-Factor 4, I believe that's the cameo appearance of Apocalypse. Web of Spider-Man number 2. Transformers Universe number 1. Marvel Team-Up 150, the last issue. Spider-Man vs. Wolverine number 1. Amazing Spider-Man 210. Peter Parker 103. Peter Parker 54. Original X-Men number 83. X-Men number 67, Detective 558, Marvel Premiere 57, I think that's the first Doctor Who in comics, Crisis on Infinity Earth number 7 when Supergirl dies, it's kind of a key issue, and there's two copies of that, Hulk 300, Long Shot number 4, Long Shot number 3, I think those are undervalued at the moment, Mew Mew is 25, the first cameo of Legion, Punisher number one, Star Wars number 80, Star Wars number 92, Star Wars annual number three, Star Wars 84, Star Wars 91. I think there's some graphic novels in this box or trade paperbacks. Okay, we have Star Wars 82, Zero Girl, number one, it's a trade paperback. S Strange Embrace, Tales of Ordinary Madness. Oh, it's Michael Alrod artwork. I didn't realize that. That's actually kind of cool. Crimson number three. Crimson book number... Oh, Crimson number four. Crimson Heaven and Earth. Crimson Loyalty and Loss. Oh, we had a couple of PS3 games. A Dead Space and a... was that? Condemned 2. And we had these cool Betty Page sticker stationery packs. I thought those were actually really cool. Awesome stuff. Another stack of trade paperbacks. Girl Scouts Work Sucks. Girl Scouts. Blackheart Billy. Hellboy The Right Hand of Doom. Hellboy Conqueror Worm. Hellboy Seed of Destruction. Hellboy The Chain Coffin and Others. Hellboy The Troll Witch and Others. Hellboy Strange Places. So that it's actually kind of cool to get all these trades. Because I find it a lot easier to read the comics in trade form. Now, I've bought from this neighbor many times. He's the guy who subscribes to a lot of newer image comics and whatnot. And so he sells me the extra comics after a while when they build up. So this is kind of the stack of the newer stuff he had. It's not all the older stuff. Teenagers from Mars. So here's the newer stuff that he... I usually end up giving him like a buck a piece for this new stuff just because I really want it and I usually don't have it. So this is cool. Saga 49. Descender 27. Saga 50. Saga 51, Descender 28. I love the Descender covers. Descender number 29, Paper Girls number 17, Paper Girls number 18, Paper Girls number 19, Paper Girls number 20. And again, he collects a lot of stuff that I really like, so when I buy from him, it helps me catch up on my collection. She Hulk 161, Stray Bullets number 30, Stray Bullets number 31, She Hulk 162. Invincible 144, the final issue. Swamp Thing Winter Special number one. Stray Bullets number 32. Beauty number 19. These covers I kind of love. Beauty number 18. There's just something about them that are pretty awesome. Beauty number 17. Moonshine number seven. She Hulk 163. Beauty number 20. Moonshine number eight. Stray Bullets number 33. Courtney Cumrum number one. Gem in the Holograms, number one. That's actually kind of cool. Gem number one. It's a different variant cover. Gem number two. Gem number two, a different cover. Gem number three. Gem number four. Venom 165. Killer Be Killed, number 12. Killer Be Killed, number 13. Killer Be Killed, number 14. Killer Be Killed, number 15. Killer Be Killed, number 16. Moonshine, number nine. Stray Bullets number 34, 
Fatal number 22, the BPRD Hell on Earth number 119, Young Monsters in Love number one. Okay, and that's all the newer stuff he had. So I'm happy. Every time he brings in a whole stack of that newer stuff, it makes me very happy. You know, and it's all been red. It's not, you know, mint mint, but I kind of like it that way because then I can read them and enjoy them. And I'm not really worrying about the value so much. So that's awesome to me. Okay, we have another stack of the older good Copper Age stuff. This is the stuff that sells well in my shop. So I like getting it. Uh, Secret Wars number 11. Secret Wars number 12. Secret Wars number 10. Secret Wars number 9. Secret Wars number six, Secret Wars number five, Secret Wars number four. I always love that cover. And another number four, Secret Wars number three, Secret Wars number two, uh, Secret Wars number one, more of the key issues. We got Secret Wars number eight, nice key issue in the collection. Secret Wars number seven, Amazing Spider Man 263. I think this is the first. Normie Osborne, and the value has gone up, so that's a cool comic. Amazing Spider-Man 264, Amazing Spider-Man 262, Amazing Spider-Man number 276, Transformers number 16, Transformers number 17. I like getting the 80s cartoon stuff because this, again, I want it for myself if I don't have it, and if I have it, it sells really well in my shop. Transformers number 19, Transformers number 21, Transformers number 22, Transformers number 23, X-Factor number 1, Amazing Spider-Man number 273, number 270, number 269, number 266, number 267, Transformers number 6, and some of these are pretty decent shapes, so they might be upgrades for me. Transformers number 7. I love upgrading the conditions of my comics. Transformers number 8. Transformers number 9. Transformers number 10. Transformers number 12. Transformers number 13. Transformers number 14. X-Men 184. X-Men 185. Amazing Spider-Man 283. Amazing Spider-Man Annual 20. Amazing Spider-Man Annual 15. Amazing Spider-Man Annual 18. Transformers number five. I love that cover. X Men 175. This in this era, X Men was one of my favorites growing up. I absolutely loved the X Men. X Men 179 and X Men 176. Okay, and one more stack from this box. Okay, X Men 189, X Men 188, X Men 190, X Men 191, X Men 187, X Men 186. Heroes for Hope, X-Men number one, X-Men 199. I, I particularly love this issue because this is one of the first comics I remember buying. My brother had it and he sold it to me for a dollar, I believe. I didn't have a dollar at the time. So he made a deal with me where if I paid him, if I couldn't pay him within a certain time, I had to give him 10 cents of interest a week. And I thought at the, you know, I was a little kid. I was probably like eight or nine. So I thought he meant I would give him 10 cents a week to pay him down, but he meant I would have to give him an additional 10 cents. <laughs> I love this comic. When I see it, it just reminds me of the good times. Uh, X-Men 198, X-Men 195, X-Men 194, X-Men 196, X-Men 197, X-Men 193, X-Men 192, X-Men 183, X-Men 182, X-Men annual number nine, X-Men 206, X-Men 205, X-Men 200. Oh, another key issue, the first appearance of Cable as a baby, X-Men 201. Sadly, this one had some water damage, so I didn't pay him too much for it, but still cool comic. X-Men 204, X-Men 202, X-Men 203, another 203, Return of the Jedi number three, Return of the Jedi number four, Batman 348, Masters of the Universe number one, and X-Men 208. Let's dig through this long box of comics. It's all 1980s Copper Age comics. There might be one or two older bronze mixed in or late bronze. Okay, we have X-Men 210, X-Men 211, X-Men 207. I remember buying a lot of these on the newsstand. X-Men Annual number 10. Ooh, Wolverine number four, that's a cool issue. Transformers number 22, Transformers number 4, 
Another copy of number four, Transformers number three. Another copy of number three, Transformers number two. Another copy of Transformers number two. Amazing Spider-Man 282. I love the 25th anniversary Border Comics. Those, I just remembered them on the newsstand back in the day. Amazing Spider-Man 244. Amazing Spider-Man 250. Amazing Spider-Man 249. I love getting Amazing Spider-Man comic books in collections because A, I love Amazing Spider-Man, but B, they're really easy to sell. Amazing Spider-Man 259. Amazing Spider-Man 261. Oh, okay, we got some key issues. We got Avengers 257, first appearance of Nebula. This one has quite a bit of value now. A Batman 359, I believe this is a first killer croc. Not in the best shape, but still a cool comic. Giant Size Defenders number one, that one's awesome. Ewoks number one. Longshot number one, the first appearance of Longshot. I also think it's the first Arthur Adams artwork in comics. I love that comic. Very cool, underrated key issue. Marvel Team Up 141, one of those first Black Suit Spider-Man comics. Rocket Raccoon number two. So I guess this little stack are ones I paid them more for. Rocket Raccoon number four and number three. Star Wars number 81. X-Men 213. Wolverine number one. Amazing Spider-Man 260. Transformers number one. Web of Spider-Man number one. Amazing Spider-Man 275. Another copy of 275. Rock of Raccoon number one. That's cool. All right, another copy of Transformers number one. Amazing Spider-Man 265. Uh, that's another key issue. A Green Lantern 163. Green Lantern 176. Ghost Rider Rides Again number one. Ghost Rider number one. Ghost Rider number 70. Gargoyle number four. Gargoyle number three. Gargoyle number two. And Gargoyle number one. Green Lantern 167, Green Lantern 164, Shadow War of Hawkman number 4, number 3, number 2, and number 1. Ooh, Gru number 17. Gru is one of my all-time favorite comic books. Gru number 6. That's cool. Gru number 5. Green Lantern Corpse Annual number 1. Heathcliff number 1. Hellblazer number 70, Indiana Jones 34, Indiana Jones 32, Indiana Jones number 30, Indiana Jones number 20, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom number 3, and number 2, another copy of number 2, and number 1, Iceman number 4, oh, these are sticky, alright, Iceman number 3, Iceman number two and Iceman number one. Those are pretty cool. Hulk 298. Hulk 297. Hulk 296 is the cool ROM cover. Hulk 295. Hulk 292. Then Humans Untold Saga number one. Iron Man 185. Iron Man 183. Iron Man 190. Iron Man 189, Iron Man 192, Iron Man 191, Iron Man 206, Iron Man 203, Iron Man 209, Iron Man 207, Iron Man 213, Iron Man 211, Iron Man Annual number 7, Iron Man 214, Vertigo Jam number 1, Gem Son of Saturn number 1, another copy of number 1. Number two, another copy of number two, number three, another copy of number three, number four, another copy of number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten, number eleven, number twelve, Johnny Thunder, aka Thunderbolt, number four. And number three. Johnny Thunder, a.k.a. Thunderbolt number one. And number two. Justice League America 242. Number 241. 239. Number 228. 226. 214. 202. 201. 196. 
190. Ooh, I love that cover. Okay, Krull number one. The Last Starfighter number one. Another copy number one. Machine Man number 12. Machine Man number 10. Machine Man number two, limited series. Another Machine Man number one from the limited series. Marvel Saga number four. The Mighty Thor, Marvel Spectacular number three, cool early Bronze Age. It's a reprint, but I still love it. Uh, Mighty Thor, Marvel Spectacular number two. Marvel Tales 112, Marvel Team Up 139, and 133. Marvel Team Up 132, and 110. Marvel Team Up 102, and number 70. Marvel Team Up number 38. Marvel Tales 174, Marvel Tales 173, Marvel Tales 171, Marvel Tales 168, Marvel Tales 166, Marvel Tales 162, Marvel Tales 159, Marvel Tales 130, Marvel Tales 125, Marvel Tales 123, Marvel Tales 119, Marvel Tales 118, and Marvel Tales 114. All right, we got Moon Knight number one, Moon Knight number two, Galactus the Origin number one, Ghost number 40. I love the Bronze Age horror stuff. Moon Knight number three, Moon Knight number four, Moon Knight number five, Moon Knight number 35. Uh, New Mutants number one, that's cool. Muppet Babies number two, Muppet Babies number one, The Muppets Take Manhattan number three, Muppet Babies number four, Psy Force number one, Power Pack number 10, Power Pack number 17, Power Pack 19, Power Pack four, uh, Power Man Iron Fist number 124, Planet Terry number one, Adventures of the Outsiders number 34, Oriental Heroes number five, Quest Pro featuring Spider-Man number two. Quest Pro featuring the Hulk number one. Quest Pro featuring the Human Torch and the Thing number three. Robotech the Macro Saga number 14. And number 10. Robotech Masters number 11. And number 10. Robotech Defenders number two. And number one. I do love these toy-related comics from the 80s. Robotics, number one, because I grew up with those toys. Red Tornado, number three. Red Tornado, number two. Red Tornado, number one. Those are pretty cool. Red Sonya, number 11. Red Sonya, number seven. Red Sonya, number two from the limited series. Red Sonya, number one from the limited series. All right. Samari, Mistress of the Martial Arts, number one. Sandman number 12, Sandman number 55, Sandman number 55 again, Shade the Changing Man number 41, Sergeant Rock 391, Star Trek 28, Star Trek 22, Star Trek 12, Star Trek 11, Star Trek 10, Star Trek 4, Squadron Supreme number 4, Squadron Supreme number two. Squadron Supreme number one. Strike Force more, more Returi is how you say it. Number one. Number two. I'm so bad with names. Number three. Uh, number four. Secret Life, a top dog, number one. Wally the Wizard, number one. Superman 404. Superman 393. DC Comics Presents 89. DC Comics Presents 85. Superman special number two, Superman number one, Supergirl number one, that's the movie adaptation, Superboy 41, Strawberry Shortcake number one, my wife's going to like that one, uh, another Strike Force more Returi number five, Sword of the Atom special number one, Superpowers number one, and Superpowers number five. Superpowers number four, Superpowers number three, Superpowers number two, Superpowers number one, Teen Titans number 50, Tarzan number two, The Terminator number one, The Thing from Another World number one, 
the thing number five, the thing number 10, the thing number six, the thing 36, the thing 19, Marvel 2 and 193, Marvel 2 and 183, Thor 316, Thor 346, Thor 317, Thor 352, Thor 351, Thor 368. Let's dig through this long box of comics. This is all Copper Age stuff with a little bit of bronze mixed in. <clears throat> Kitty Pride and Wolverine number one. I seem to get this one a lot in collections. Number two, well the whole series. Number three, number four, number five, and number six. Marvel Universe number one, the handbook. Number four, number five, number 10. I think this is the first handbook they did in the early 80s, and then this is the second one they did a couple years later. So number 12, number 13, Havoc and Wolverine Meltdown, number one, Nightcrawler, number one, Nightcrawler, number two. I love all these X-Men spinoffs from the 80s. Nightcrawler, number three, Nightcrawler, number four, Secret Wars 2, number one, number two, number five. Ooh, okay, these are comics I really, really wanted. I grew up loving these comics, and the prices are starting to shoot up because of the new Spider-Man movie. So I was actually happy. I got these cheap over the summer, but the prices have really shot up since I bought them. So I'm so happy to have them. I don't have his first appearance yet, but I did get a bunch of this series from this guy. So we have Peter Porker number one, Peter Porker number two, Peter Porker number three, Peter Porker number four, Peter Porker number six, Peter Porker number 12, and Peter Parker number 13. So happy to have those. Okay, Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man 59. Number 60. Number 79. Number 83. 88. 91. 98. 99. Transformers Headmasters, number one. Transformers, the movie, number one. Transformers, the movie, number two. Transformers Universe number two and V number two. V number three, V number eight, Vigilante number one, Vigilante number 14. I always like the printing quality of these comics that DC did in the 80s that were like the higher run, more expensive ones. They just look really nice. So Vigilante 15, Vigilante 18, Vigilante 28. Vigilante Annual number one, Vigilante number 23, Vigilante number 27, Vigilante number 21, Vigilante number 22, Vigilante number 19, Vigilante number 20, Web of Spider Man number three, Web of Spider Man number four, Web of Spider Man number five, number seven, Web of Spider Man 17, Web of Spider Man Annual number one, West Coast Avengers number one. Number two, the West Coast Avengers number two, number one, the miniseries number three, and number four, and the regular series number three, and who's who from the DC Universe volume one, uh, volume two, volume three, volume four, volume five, volume six. Uh, I don't, it's just the back cover, so I'm not sure which volume that is, but that's cool. Uh, volume 8 and volume 12. Let's see. Spider-Woman 21, Mask number 4, Voltron number 1, that's cool. Voltron number 2, The Warlord number 106, The Warlord number 87, The Warlord number 79, Miss Mystic number 1. Oh, sticky. Legion of Superheroes 286, 319. Mask number one. Mask number two. Jonah Hex number 65. Spinner's Galaxy number six. All right. Justice Machine number three. Ambush Bug number four. Ambush Bug number three. Ambush Bug number two. Ambush Bug number one. Look, these are all backwards. Ah, G.I. Joe stuff. G.I. Joe and Transformers, number one. I always enjoy collecting these, but they also sell really well in my shop. 
G.I. Joe Transformers number two. Crisis on Infinite Earth number one. Number two. Annie number one. All Star Squadron number two. Alpha Flight number 20. Crystar Crystal Warrior number 11. Aliens vs. Predator number one. Amethyst Princess of Gem World number one. Amethyst number two. Amethyst number three. Amethyst number four. Alpha Flight number 19. Alpha Flight number 17. This one's badly bold damage, so I might just have to get rid of that one. Alpha Flight number five. Alpha Flight number 28. Alpha Flight number 27. Alpha Flight number 26. Alpha Flight number 25. Alpha Flight 24. Alpha Flight number 23. Alpha Flight number 21. Alpha Flight number 36. G.I. Joe Yearbook number 2. G.I. Joe Yearbook number 1. G.I. Joe 3D number 1. G.I. Joe 54. G.I. Joe 49. G.I. Joe 46. G.I. Joe 28. G.I. Joe 27. G.I. Joe 26. G.I. Joe 25. G.I. Joe number 24. Oh, this is cool. I do like Fraggle Rock. Fraggle Rock number 3. Fraggle Rock number 1. The Flash 350. Firestorm Annual number 2. Firestorm number 44. Firestorm number 41. Firestorm number 40. Firestorm number 39. Firestorm 38. Firestorm 37. Firestorm 36, Firestorm 35, Firestorm 34, Firestorm 34 again, Firestorm 33, Firestorm 32, Firestorm number 31, Firestorm number 30, Fantastic Four versus the X-Men number one, Fantastic Four annual number 18, Fantastic Four 320, Fantastic Four 286, Fantastic Four 280, Fantastic Four 279, Fantastic Four 278, Fantastic Four 267, Fantastic Four 260, Fantastic Four 259, Fantastic Four 277, Fantastic Four 276, Fantastic Four 275, Number 274, Number 272, Number 271, Number 257, Number 252. It's a cool sideways cover. I like those. Sideways covers are cool. Uh, Avira, House of Mystery, number four. And number one. ElfQuest, number three. ElfQuest, number two. And ElfQuest, number one. Those are cool. Dreadstar and Company, number four. Number three. Number two. Number one. I think that's number one. Yes. Uh, Doctor Who number 12. Doctor Who number four. Doctor Who 14. Doctor Who 13. Defenders 145. Defenders 144. 143. 142. 141. 121. Dazzler 36. Dazzler 37. Dazzler 35, Daredevil 213, Daredevil 215, Daredevil 217, Daredevil 212, Daredevil 232. When I was a kid, I loved collecting Daredevils. All these Daredevils from the mid to late 80s, definitely, they, uh, good memories. <laughs> Conan the King 22, that one's kind of beat up. Conan the King 27, Conan the Barbarian Movie Special number one. One again, Crystal Crystal Warrior number six. Daredevil 211, Daredevil 204, Conan the King 21, Conan the Destroyer number one, Conan the Destroyer number two, Conan 188, Conan 187, Conan 176, Conan 174, Conan 173, 173 again, 171, 
170, 169. Okay, we got Conan 168, 167, 166, 166 again, 163, 159, 158, 157, 156, 156 again, 155, 153, 146, 145, 131, 101, Cloak and Dagger number 7, Blue Devil 14, number 15, these are sticky, number, not sure the number because it's covered with a sticker, number 17, number 18, number 21, Number 22, number 24, number 25, number 26, annual number one, Captain America 294, Cloak and Dagger number one, Cloak and Dagger number two, Cloak and Dagger number three, Cloak and Dagger number four in the miniseries, Cloak and Dagger number seven. Oh, this is getting exhausting. Ooh. Tari Force number 20. Arion Lord of Atlantis number 1. Avengers 220. Avengers 242. Avengers 251. Avengers 252. Avengers 256. Avengers 255. Avengers 254. Avengers 253. Avengers 259, Avengers 258, Batman Outsiders Annual number 2, number 1, Batman Outsiders number 5, The Blue Sword number 1, Blue Devil number 1, Blue Devil number 2, Blue Devil number 3, Blue Devil number 4, Blue Devil number 5, Blue Devil number 6, and number six again. Blue Devil number seven. Blue Devil number eight. Blue Devil number nine. Blue Devil number eight. Blue Devil number nine. Blue Devil number ten. Blue Devil number eleven. Number twelve. And number thirteen. All right, one more bonus package. I bought this package in july i believe and i misplaced it so i just recently found it i'm excited to open it up i believe it cost me about 40 bucks so i'm gonna open it up and show you what's inside it's kind of like just a whim spur of the moment purchase but i thought it was pretty cool ah this is super cool this is the original pencil art from a page of theory of magic by sabine rich I really, really like her artwork. She does a lot of the coloring for J. Scott Campbell's covers and stuff. So she's a really good colorist, but I also like her line art. So I thought this was really cool. And I figured original comic page for like 40 bucks, awesome. You know, I met her at uh, New York Comic Con last year and she had like sketches for 50 bucks. So I almost bought a sketch, but I didn't because I didn't want to spend too much money, but I did buy her book. But when I saw original page of her artwork for sale for like, the same price or less than the sketch i knew i had to have it oh and i was getting kind of bummed out because i misplaced the package i'm like where did i put it but i'm gonna pull it out of the plastic so you can see it better i'll have to find the top load i probably have a top loader that would hold this ah oh, that's really cool i really like the line art beautiful so that's what it looks like i don't know if you can see it so well but i just she draws a face really well she makes a really cute face I like all like the little details and stuff. This is awesome. Cool. I'd buy this all day long for 40 bucks. I'll look for more of her pages because right now she's not popular enough for people to pay big money for her pages. So I want to kind of grab them before she becomes popular. All right. So in this video, I think my favorite things, I like the Sabine Rich art. That's probably one of my favorite things. But comic book wise, my favorites are probably the first appearance of Captain Marvel. That comic's really cool. It's not that often that I'll pay up for a comic book. But in this case, I knew I had to have it. 
And this Supergirl cover, I just really love the cool. She looks cute. It's metallic and fun. It's a really awesome comic cover. But there's a lot of cool stuff in this comic call, so it's really hard to just narrow it down to a couple things. So what was your favorite thing in this whole comic call? What comic books do you think were the coolest? Also, let me know if I missed any key issues or anything that's gone up in value, because I, you know, I passed through this stuff really quick, and I tried to mention the ones that are worth a little bit more, but sometimes I miss it. So if there's a key issue, a first appearance, or something that I should have noticed, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully I can do more comic videos like this more often. I know I don't do them enough, but they don't get as many views as my other videos. So I don't feel as motivated to make them as often, but I love making them. So hopefully, you know, comics been selling well in my shop. So I am kind of motivated to do more so I can sort the comics and get them into my shop. So hopefully the videos start picking up and getting more views. Because if they do, I'll definitely be making more. I want to thank my patrons for supporting my channel with their help. I know I'm able to do more videos like this more often. If you want to help support my channel as well, click the link to Patreon right there. If this is the first time watching my videos and you like this big mega epic comic book haul, why don't you click the over face and subscribe? Why not? I want to make more mega epic comic calls just for you. And I'm going to put a couple other mega epic comic calls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!